So let's talk about the Google Pixel event coming up. So November 9th, ah, no, October. I, I'm just, uh, my mind is so twisted right now because of all this that I'm trying to process with the Google event. A lot of it's making sense, a lot of it's not. So let's get right into it. And so this is gonna be my predictions for the upcoming event and what I think is gonna happen, what's coming out, and just how it's gonna go. So what I think uh, is, let's start off with the main Pixel 3, Pixel 3 XL. Uh, I don't think there will be a third uh, Pixel variant. A lot of leaks, a lot of rumors, a lot of anticipation. Uh, this probably is the world's most leaked phone at this point. If not, I'm gonna give it the award on my channel. So this is gonna be an interesting year for Google because they have consistently screwed up hardware. Their quality control last year was horrible. They can't handle stocks, so any demand flusters them. And last year was a shit show when the uh, Pixel 2 XL uh, screen issues, quality control issues, Phones being shipped without any OS on them, a lot of stuff like that. And I'm hoping that in terms of that, you know, that doesn't occur again for Google, but you never know. Let's talk about the phone. So the phones are gonna be very similar to what we have right now, minor upgrades. So we're gonna get a full glass back is what I think. We've seen it leaked, so I don't even have to say a thing. I know we're gonna get a full glass back, wireless charging. You're gonna get the deep, deep notch on that 3XL. And again, I don't understand why it's so deep. It doesn't have to be, but it is. And that is what it is. And then the uh, smaller 3XL will remain similar to this form factor. However, the uh, top chin and bottom chin, thankfully, are gonna get a little bit smaller. Still not as close as the Pixel 2 XL of last year, but it's gonna look a lot better than it does right now. The prices are expected to be <sighs> close to $1,000 is what I've heard. I'm not gonna say that that's gonna happen, but if that does, something's wrong with you, Google. You are crazy. I never mind. Let's move on. And uh, as you guys can see, you know, there's just so much information right now that it's driving my, it's driving me insane because I don't know what to believe, what not to believe. And generally, when I make predictions, you see the trends, you see what might be possible, what's not possible. But with Google, the stupider it sounds, the more likely it is it's going to happen. Is what's going on. So the three XL, that huge notch. I have no idea, you know, what's going on with that. Uh, you think that, you know, hey, you're getting the phones that are only slightly improved. They're probably going to keep their prices the same so that they can target the iPhone with uh, that huge $1,000 price tag. But no, they're also going to go $1,000. Okay, hopefully we get some nice hardware with some specs that we haven't seen at all. No, it's going to be the same hardware we already have. So it's most likely going to be that Snapdragon 845 that has been in phones for close to six months now. The S9 I bought back in April had an 845. That's what it is. I also saw that the 3XL might just ship with four gigs of RAM. And for Android, you need double that. I'm not joking. You need at least eight gigs of RAM for the phone to run right at least a year into the future. I've seen it with the OnePlus. I've seen it with all of these other phones. This phone is already struggling just because of the RAM it has. It thinks it can get away with it like the iPhone does because of iOS. It can't. You need a lot more RAM on, iPhone, on these uh, Android devices. That's just the reality. And it's looking like we might not get that, which is a bad thing. I hope it's not true. I hope we get at least six gigs of RAM, uh, option to eight. And that would be satisfactory for me. But if four is even mentioned on a $1,000 phone, I will seriously lose my shit. I'm not joking. All right, moving on. Let's talk about this uh, other stuff that we're getting. We're going to get two cameras in the front, one in the back which is again stupid. You should have two on the back as well, Google. I understand you're trying to prove, you proved your point with the AI last year. Everybody's caught on now. Apple has it as well, but they also give you a telephoto lens if you need it. It makes videos better as well. So don't, you know, it's gonna have a single lens, but I'm just kind of getting it out there, venting out there. Uh, no dual camera on the back, but dual cameras on the front, because guess what? They're gonna give you a wide angle on the front. Again, Google, what? You're doing it. You're doing it on the front. Do it on the back. Ugh. Oh, my God. All right, so it just, a lot of weird decisions like that is what I'm telling you guys, you know, why I said the stupider it sounds, it sounds more and more likely that Google did it because all of these weird decisions. And then we have also seen a lot of leaked unboxings which show that we will finally get headphones in the box as well. So wired uh, USB-C, Pixel Buds or whatever they're gonna call them. We have that in the box. Pretty much everything else is standard. And I'm honestly gonna tell you guys, don't get excited for this phone. I think the camera's gonna be good. The 2XL, the two were amazing. 
I think they're going to be good. But right now, the same technology that they were touting and that they're relying on essentially is already in other phones. The iPhone has gotten it as well. So if that was your only thing that, you know, that, that was the only, they put all their eggs into that one basket and then everybody else got the same idea. And now they're kind of just stuck left with nothing because everybody else has it. They're no longer unique with that big issue. And just generally, the design is way too similar. They're keeping the weird two-tone look. I hope it's just darker glass and lighter colored glass and that they don't put some stupid like coating on it. That would be atrocious because I tell you guys, the coating on this phone is crap. I don't care what anybody says, it is crap. Uh, it's already fading for me, if you guys can see. I mean, it faded long ago, but it keeps fading away. The text at the bottom, the Google logo, all that. What, what are you doing, man? <sighs> and moving on. Uh, one thing I'm not sure though is who's going to be manufacturing these phones. Last year HTC made the smaller Pixel 2, LG made the uh, 2XL. It might be the same this year, it might be completely different, it might be one manufacturer taking over both. That I would prefer, but realistically, if I were to give my best guess, I'm going to say they're probably going to stick to the same thing. HTC manufacturing the smaller phone, LG making the larger phone, or maybe we have uh, somebody else taking over the smaller phone, who knows. But I'm thinking that most likely it's not going to change too much. Moving on, let's talk about some other stuff that's going to come out. So there was leaks of some updates to the entire, uh, you know, the Google Home line. So the, the speakers and all those smart uh, hubs. Because Amazon just did theirs. They updated all of theirs. So I'm thinking Google's not far behind. Uh, we definitely will get one, one with a display. They've already done it with Lenovo and stuff. So them making their own only makes sense. So that's something definitely that I'm expecting. They're going to have that uh, an updated Pixel book, uh, which is essentially a Chromebook, which is very premium. And I think, I, you know, I've seen rumors where it's going to be called the Slate. I hope they don't call it that because I don't think it's a good name for that product. But whatever it is, we're definitely going to see that. Hopefully it gets more functionality than it previously had. If you guys haven't seen videos on it, just look at it and tell me why anybody would pay that much money for that particular tablet because the productivity just isn't there. You could get the same thing for less, way, way less, like not even anything different. So that's something that you got to think about. Also, just coming in, you know, coming it all together, what else do I think is going to happen at this event? So I definitely think they're going to try to make fun of Apple for something or the other. Um, they're going to try to, you know, make it look like it's the greatest phone ever, blah, blah, blah. I think every company does that. They're definitely going to, I think they might address all these leaks somehow. Let's see what happens, but uh, I don't know. Leaks definitely, I think, should be addressed in this. Um, otherwise, the keynote should be pretty boring, to be honest, because we know everything that's coming out. There isn't too much of a surprise. Uh, wireless Pixel Buds, now that might uh, get updated. The first gen was crap, it wasn't that good. Hopefully the next one they come out with is a lot better. Let's see. Um, generally, I think, you know, my, my kind of consensus here, my kind of summary of this is that I think that Google really needs to understand what they're doing. They're trying to make premium hardware, sell it at premium costs, but the hardware isn't premium and the cost isn't justified. I think prices need to come way down. Um, I'm okay with forgiving uh, things that aren't there, for things that are missing, ignoring some problems, but you have to make it worthwhile. There has to be something in the phone that makes me ignore it. I do not think that camera is gonna be uh, this, that, that factor anymore because for the last year, if you guys haven't already seen my video where I said why I love to hate that Pixel 2, I, there's a lot of problems with it, but I really love it because that camera experience, you can't get anywhere else. Now you can with the iPhone XS and XS Max, but now I don't know what Google is going to do. What is that one saving grace for it that it will at least have some people come in and buy it. So I think Google needs to, one, get better processors. Don't rely on Qualcomm. Qualcomm is shit. They are far behind in comparison to Apple when it comes to processor technology. And even if Google can get one step ahead of Qualcomm, that is one step better for me. Uh, definitely think that they need to come up with something. Uh, they need to stop outsourcing their hardware to different companies. Don't do that. They're, that's the problem, you know, with a lot of quality control issues. You can see that LG hasn't had the best track record. They've had issues with their own phones. Uh, they've had issues with uh, your panels. They've had issues with quality control on your phones. Uh, the 2XL was a major issue for you guys throughout its life cycle. There were repeated problems coming up again and again, repeated defects you guys were finding. So 
I think that right now the main focus, because this 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 one is done. Three XL is not gonna three and three XL are not gonna be good. For four, let's hope you do something. So um, if you guys are interested, let me know. I will probably be making another video talking about what the event was like. Uh, I don't know if I will or if I will not. If something interests me about the event, I definitely will. But if it's the same old stuff, you're probably going to have 75 other YouTube channels posting the same stuff. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm going to post something else, kind of change things up for you guys. Let me know what you guys think about the Pixel 3 event. What are your predictions? So I told you mine, you tell me yours. Let's get a conversation going down in the comments below. And if you haven't already, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel for more content and follow me on social media as well. I have all the links down in the description below. Thank you so much guys for watching. Let's hope Pixel does something good and I'll catch you in the next one.